Now I'm going to show you on how easy it is to make your LG ThinQ AC washer and fridge to work with Apple HomeKit. It's super easy and you'll be controlling your appliances with Siri in no time. Hello and welcome to my channel which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So for our new home, we went ahead and purchased LG's 65 inch OLED TV that supports Apple HomeKit out of the box. LG's split egg conditioners for all of the bedrooms, LG's 13 kilo washing machine, as well as their 611 liter fridge. Don't worry, this video is not sponsored by them. I mean, why would they, right? Anyways, we chose LG devices because of their excellent quality and reliability. And it was the only brand in Brazil that all of those devices were smart and worked in one app called ThinkU. Now, once those devices were integrated in the ThinkU app, it made our life simple. It's easy to control and monitor all our appliances status for one place. That is through the app on the phone. And once you access the home hub on the TV, it's got this clean dashboard that we can view and gives us the opportunity to control them and we can also enable notifications. Plus through the same dashboard, it also allows us to add and control third party vendors like my Philips Hue setup as well as Elite. And I can also set up and integrate Matter devices. However, we made the purchase decision to go with LG ThinQ supported appliances because of all the simplicity LG bought, but I also knew that there was a Homebridge plugin that supported them. So I was convinced and remember, I got third world smart home problems. So thanks to this group of awesome developers who have created and maintained this fantastic Homebridge plugin that allows us to make that purchase decision as well as allowing us to seamlessly control our ACs and fridge as well as getting the washing machine status all within the home app, making our smart home experience simplified, smooth and convenient, making the entire purchase worth every penny. So what will we need to make this thank you supported appliances work in Apple HomeKit? One, make sure you already have them installed and set up in the thank you app. To enable the integration with HomeKit, we will be using Homebridge running on a Raspberry Pi Plus, I've also left links in the description to install Homebridge on multiple hardware platforms. So let's not waste any time and let's dive right in. So the first thing we want to do is make sure the LG ThinQ app and the appliance is working. So let's go ahead and turn on the AC and we want to see that the status changes in the ThinQ app. And from there, you also want to go and turn off the AC so it makes sure it turns off the AC in your room. This way we know that the app and the device is working. Likewise, let's go and do the same thing with the washing machine. Let's go and turn on the washing machine. We see that the status in the app also is updated. And then you can also turn off the washing machine from the ThinQ app. Now note that you won't be able to do this in the Apple Home app. From there, we'll go ahead and check with the fridge as well. So I will go ahead and increase and decrease the temperature. And we see that the state changes. So let's go ahead and access homebridge.io and then we're just going to type think Q. Hit enter. Let's go ahead and select this plugin right here and we're going to go and click on the home page. Now this plugin depends on your email credentials and it works using your internet connection. Just in case the internet goes down, you won't be able to access the appliances through the Apple Home app. Now this plugin supports version one and version two ThinQ devices, and it also gives you a status on the implementation. You will see that these are all of the devices have been implemented, their status, and it also tells you which of them can be controlled through the Apple Home app. So you can see that you can control the refrigerator, air purifier, AC, oven, and microwave. The washer and dryer and dishwasher you can only see the status in Apple Home app. You won't be able to control it. And you will also see that there is advanced configuration that we will go and check in the 
Homebridge platform. So let's go ahead and just copy this right here. And we're just going to access our Homebridge, which is my test environment. We're going to log in. We're going to plugins and we're just going to paste and hit enter. So we're going to go ahead and download this version that's been updated in April as of this recording of 2024. Choose the latest version. Click on install. Let's go ahead and click on the three dots. Click on plugin config and we want to go ahead and populate your username and password, which is the same that you use in your Thank you app. Just in case you've used Google, Facebook or Apple to log in, there is a video right here. I've left the link in the description on how to create a secondary account to use for this Homebridge plugin. So let's go ahead now and put in the username and password. Once you populate your username and password, you want to go ahead and select the country and language. If there's a mismatch, you are not able to log in. So I will go ahead and select. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on get token. It's not necessary to remember username and password. So I'll go ahead and click get token. And then you will see on the bottom right hand corner, it has a success login success and it will automatically populate all of the devices together with its device ID. So these are all of the appliances that I have, including the device ID. One more thing to note is if you're not sure whether it supports think you version one or think of think you version two, just go ahead and just enable it. And let's go ahead and click on save restart home bridge. So you'll see that it's gone ahead and imported all of the accessories and is and connected successfully to the LG think you API. Now, if you go under accessories, you'll see that all of the devices are showing up here. So from here, we can go ahead and see how they all interact within the Apple home app. Now within the Apple home app, you can get this control of turning on the air conditioner. You also have the option to go ahead and control the temperature and change its value. And I'll be very honest with you. It's very responsive as if it's working locally. And then you can also turn off the air conditioner. Also, at the same time, you will see all of the other options such as energy saver, fan control, air purifier, as well as the jet. Hey Siri, turn on air conditioner. You can also use voice to turn on the air conditioner and you can also use Siri to turn it off. Hey Siri, turn off air conditioner. Now from here, we can also go ahead and change the temperature for the refrigerator. The response is very quick. And then also at the same time, you'll see all of the options to control the freezer as well as the eco and all the other options. Now from here, I want to make sure you go to home settings. And then if you go under sensors, you can enable the sensors for the door. So this allows you to uh, enable activity no notifications when the door is open. The same thing when the laundry is finished, you can turn on the notification. And if you go to locks, you'll also see the option for the washing machine door. So you can run automations when that washing cycle is over. Now with the sensors enabled, you will see once the door is open, you'll get a notification on your phone. This takes a little bit of a second or two. And then when the fridge door is closed, it also sends a notification. Now with the washing machine, once you turn on the washing machine, you'll see that it shows up like a water device. The state changes in Apple Home app. If you tap on it, it shows that it's waiting. So basically it's waiting to assign its cycle. And the moment you hit play, it just takes a couple of seconds to update within the Apple Home app. It also shows the time and it also shows that the door is closed. And whatever time you see on the screen, it reflects in the Apple Home app. And then it shows as running. And then once the cycle is over, you'll see that you get a notification from the Think You app as well as the Apple Home app. And also at the same time, you'll see that the status also changes. If you have a Google Home Hub. The washing machine has finished running. And on the TV, you'll also see the status change because it shows up as a security lock. And that, my friends, is how easy I simplified our smart home experience with LG Think You and Apple HomeKit. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more DIY smart home videos. Until the next time, cheers and happy automation.